Welcome to the final installment. This will be actually uh, put into two separate videos of um, my cards. So uh, here we go. Let's dive right into them. So up first, I have the, this one is from 1992, also by Impel, once again. Um, this one I think I got in a comic book, with a comic book. Uh, this is the White Queen. So these cards are all of my Marvel superhero playing cards. Um, I did actually have a lot more. Um, but some of them I gave away. I traded into um, like a card shop, comic book store, uh, to get like credit, like just cards I didn't really care for. But I was always a big fan of the X Men. I thought this was really cool. Yeah, so I mean, you know, it's got information about her. Here's an extra fact for X Men The White Queen was the original teacher of the X Force strongman known as Warpath. So, really neat card. Fantastic animation. So there you have it. Uh, this one I got in a group of cards, I think. I forget where I got this one. But this is clearly uh, the McFarlane era, which is really awesome. And uh, on the back there, a little more information. So that's really cool. Uh, this one's from 1992. So another uh, Marvel card. Uh, once, uh, I'm not sure who made this, though comic images uh, then this one is 30th anniversary of spider-man so this is really awesome because I really enjoyed the Harry Osborn storyline um, just as much as the Norman Osborn um, storyline but I was obviously too young to really experience the original um, Spider-Man storyline, you know, with the original Green Goblin and with, um, you know, a lot of the old school um, villains. So the one I gravitated more towards was when his son took over. This is also from 92. So another Marvel card there. Uh, here we have another 30th anniversary. So these were like special cards made strictly by Marvel. Which was really awesome. I'm not sure if these came with um, comic books. Like I said, I can't remember where I got these from. These ones are a little bit newer though. Like they're not super, super old. Um, and then here we have um, Harry Osborn. Uh, this is the drug abuse 30th anniversary card. Um, you know, it was, it was an amazing storyline. It was really good. You know, and you felt, you felt for Harry. Okay, now this next set of cards, these ones are like super, super old. These ones I've had since I was like younger. Uh, here we have another random X-Men. Uh, this is a super villain. The White Queen, I think, is a good guy. Um, but here we have Typhoid Mary. So that's really awesome. This one is from... 1994 but like I said this is definitely one I had when I was like younger so uh, really awesome artwork I don't know if you can see that hopefully it focuses but really neat it's got information on the back about her powers what kind of X-Men she is and everything so really really in incredible here is Spider-Man of course uh, this is also from 94 this was like a special uh, edition. These were made by um, Fleer. That's the other company. Tops and Fleer were like the big trading card companies. Um, but they were mostly known for doing... I think Fleer did a lot of sports related cards and Tops did sports cards but they also did more of like other stuff. Um, but really neat. You know this is like just stuff about Spider-Man here. These were a whole set of cards. And then there's the Lizard, which I always loved. Huge Lizard fan. So really awesome to have come across this card. Once again, this is another card I got when I was younger. Uh, this one, huge pickup. The Shocker was in there. Um, I remember going to Pathmark, which was this like uh, 
older supermarket chain. I don't know if they're really around anymore, but in Philly, and they used to have like grab machines, and they used to have a playing card vending machine. And I would go there, you know, after school and stuff, ride my bike over there, and you know, pick up a bunch of playing cards. Um, and I remember getting these and just freaking out. I was like, oh my god, I got the shocker. That's crazy. I should have held on to some of the other ones. Here's a web zinger for you. The Shocker once joined a group of Spidey's deadliest foes in order to overcome his pathological fear of the wall crawler. And here's a web zinger for the lizard. The lizard can control other reptiles with just a thought. So, really, really cool cards. And then this one was in the mix. Uh, gotta have the Mary Jane card. Really interesting, you know, of course, the picture that they went with. You know, you gotta love it. It's ridiculous. Because then on the back here, that's more of like the classic looking Mary Jane, a little more conservative. Although she's not super ridiculous. I mean, they just drew her very curvy. But either way, I, I always liked the character of Mary Jane and Gwen Stacy. I thought they were neat, you know. And you, you gotta hold on to the Mary Jane card. You can't get rid of Mary Jane. Um, here's another web zinger. Mary Jane has known that Peter Parker is Spider-Man almost since he began his crime-fighting career. How about that and then finally this one was a separate um, group of cards that came out a little later um, still made by Fleer but these are from 1997 most of these I gave away because I just didn't they were like a really weird group of cards but Stunner was actually a really awesome character who showed up in the 90s so I kept her obviously you know why I kept this card so, just kidding. But, um, no, I kept stunning because I actually like her. Like, I think she's a cool card. So, my girlfriend would probably think otherwise. But, hey, man, they're just playing cards. So, that about wraps it up. That's part one of my Marvel um, Fleer Spider-Man cards. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, video. And um, look forward to part two coming soon.